Hello, this is Landon, and I'm going through some more setups here for you guys who are just starting out. Um, those of you who are Factorio players and picked up this game or you're interested, it's it's really fun. I think the simplicity of the belt system in this game of Mindistry or huh, Mindistry. I can't believe I said it wrong. I said I was going to say Mindistry from now on, huh? All right. So for those of you who are on the edge or on the fence of this purchase, I say, you know, it's like, what, $6? It's not... Like, you, you could rent a movie on YouTube for that much, and to play a game for hours, is it's worth it. I'm not trying to sell the game or anything, I'm just saying that I bought it because that's my logic. Anyway, um, speaking of logic, we have some belt logic here that I'm going to go over. Um, for those of you who are curious about you know advice on how to do stuff and you you you're really good at factorio but you don't know how to really begin in this game um organizing your belts is not really key because you don't need organization to get your items to and from places but if you know how to do it right you have a clutter-free environment and the second you place the wrong block down it, it goes downhill however um, having those efficient setups you're going to be paying attention and doing some meticulous things and it shouldn't be that bad. So um, let's get into the family friendly content of Mindistry and we're going to go over some advanced things here, some things that aren't too obvious. It's like uh, you're playing with some Legos and you get a really fancy piece and then you're like what can I do with this? So. Um, I'm going to go over sorters. Uh, I did a video on this and I didn't I didn't publish it because it, I, I went on a tangent and I figured some things out. So good on me for that because now you guys get some more cool stuff and we don't get to see the boring video. This is not the boring video, I promise. Alright, so a sorter. The rule is the item that is indicated here is the... Ooh, you can unselect it. Cool. Um, you pick an item, that item only goes forward from its relative position and no other direction. All other objects go any direction but forward. Pretty simple, right? So we have an item source and it is copper. Copper will stop if there's no output. If you take an item void and place it here and there, you go like this, copper comes out that way or this way and it alternates all right all right so um let's say you have coal and coal is here so we put down an item source and we tell it that it's coal go like that it's gonna go here and it should go straight through pretty simple right um copper has to go right and coal has to go forward nothing goes this direction because coal can't go left or right copper can't go left because this is not an output um so nothing goes up this direction now if copper was over here it could go up but if uh, likewise if coal was over here it would go straight through so that this would never happen. So that's the sorter. Now I'm going to go over an overflow gate. Overflow gates are simple, similar logic. Um, if there's space to go forward, it will go forward. If not, it will go left or right. So we do an item void and then item source. The item source is coal. It goes forward, sometimes it bunches up and the logic makes it think that it has no space to go forward. So once it places an item down, it's checking the previous item and it usually just places it left or right. Now if we take this and we add more items faster, you're going to see that they bunch up on this, this one and they evenly spread. So uh, if you add a faster belt here, your items don't really go left or right much. Uh, it's not foolproof, so if if this is slow, your excess does leave the belt. That makes sense. Now, to 
kind of uh, what do you call that handle overflow there's a term in the IT industry some of you guys already know what it is um, it's on your mind right now it is it might it might be overflow but uh, man, I don't remember what it's called anyway I just remembered it and then it left my brain. Mm. Shame. All right. It's not error correction. It's not. It's, it's kind of like redundancy, but it's not redundancy. But anyway, back to the video. So, what this should do is never go left or right. This is going this direction and that way. All right, so I tried to make something and it didn't really work. There are ways to make stuff efficient. So um, anyway, for those of you who are familiar with the Factorio ways of doing things, um, oh, load balancing, did I, was that the term? I think so. All right. So um, back to what we were going over. Um, we had the sorters and the overflow gates, and I was going over these, and I lost track of what was happening. Right, they don't go left or right unless this is occupied. And also, overflow gates don't pass items through when there are two adjacent to each other. So you can see how that plays out. Um, I haven't actually figured out why this is the case, but if you change this to that, then you put an item void here. Now get rid of this. And an item void here, you get two separate lines. Now if you make this go faster, they don't collide with each other. So they're like junctions in that case. Pretty much forcing this to be a junction and this can be a gate that can go left or right just like this one and you can see how that might be beneficial it's pretty neat um, I might play around with that but I'll make a separate video for that case. Um, but this, you know, might bring forth some ideas that you guys might mess around with. Um, that's what I love about these kinds of games is you can you can mess around with it, and make some cool things. So I combine sorters with junctions with overflow gates, and what you'll notice is that junctions have an internal system where the direction that the item is going is independent of the opposite direction. So it's a two-way belt and that's really important because these are going left and these are going right simply because the item that would go forward is not copper or metal glass. So they have to go either left or right which is important because if you don't think of it like that you'll just not really get anywhere and things will get tough so if we make this nothing does it allow you to okay so that's every object cool I didn't know that so this means that um 
the only outputs you can have are left and right and never forward. Cool, that's really good to know. Okay, so um, with that being said, we have a overflow gate here that not only is allowing this through, but the overflow gate will know that this is full and only pass metal glass. Now if they're both in the same situation, they alternate and then one starts to like freak out because this is filling something now. It's not going anywhere, now it stops. If we get a faster belt, maybe it fixes it. Okay, so that's all we need to worry about. And then if we put the item void back here and back here, this empties and we're good. So nothing to worry about there. Good to go. Um, this is good for if um, this is a, supplying your guns. When they're done filling up, this can go back to your core. So um, this could also be a junction. So if you get rid of this, you'll see that these keep going and they're emptying, but that allows you to, hmm, that might not be a good thing. Um, this allows metal glass to come back in and go this direction, but you don't know which direction it's going. So that's kind of important to know. If you have an overflow gate here, then you could send metal glass in this way. So it would also use the same system but then once it hits this, it's gonna go up there. So that's not good because it can't use the same method of travel as copper or else it'll just conflict and then it can't sort up. Well, it can, but if this is your copper specific line, you might want to do something about that. Um, but we're not gonna go over that because this is just for principles and not, not really anything else. All right. So now we have an unload system and basically the way this works is your coal hits the overflow gate and then comes back. I think yeah so the way this works is well actually no that that's what it was but um, now it's no longer that I forgot oh no that that's this okay so this thing is this is your point where all your items come out and this is your base's main belt so you have all your items coming in and preferably at the same speed because I don't know how to make scale this up it's just the one speed but all of your items go into your core and that's really good if you can have one belt for everything and they all come out here and leave so this would be your output and these are your inputs and you can I believe you can scale this up but at some point it will bottleneck and then you need to empty items out faster than they're coming in. But uh, yeah, so I said I wasn't gonna mess with it, but hey, what you gonna do? So yeah, uh, you can scale this up. Uh, it's sorter goes into a junction. I don't know if it wasn't able to do overflow gate. Yeah. You could probably work on that a bit. And then here, um, you have you have coal goes through and gets sent 
through this uh, load balancer belt and uh, don't worry, really worry about that too much. The idea here is, is if anything here becomes, I want to say, I don't know how to explain this. Alright, if this bogs up anywhere, the coal is supposed to come all the way back up and leave through this belt. So, let me speed that up. It's going to throw some excess coal there and here, just because it's an overflow system. But if, um, if we remove that belt, we should see a lot more coal coming out. Yep. If we remove that, you'll see that we get a rate that is, I think it has to do with the router sending the stuff back, which I don't know why it does that, but hey. Um, let's probably do this. Also, I forgot about this. So we're going to test the speed of which these go, right? We have voids and object sources. Let's just go ahead and place everything down. So these two are the same sort of belt. This is using sorters and this is using just routers and overflow gates. And as you can see, they travel the fastest with regular belts being the slowest. And that's because I believe these don't hold an inventory, so except for sorters. Sorters might, but um, routers don't. They just push. Um, they do block directions, I believe, if there's an item stuck, but they mainly just push the inventory forward. So yeah, um, hope you guys learned something. There's a lot to do here. I'm going to play around with um, overflow gates and such. And um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you guys later.